What's going on, guys? Good morning. Taking a look at Casper USDT, Casper slash Tether. We're on tradingview.com as usual. We're looking at a daily chart as usual. Uh, another down day here for Casper as usual, at least for the past couple weeks or so. After we put in that major high up there at five cents, right on the money, one of our levels, 522 and 509, two areas of current resistance. So I want to share something with you guys here. So here's our up overhead resistance. Came in quite, quite well. Had a nice bounce here down at 415, lower high, and then they pulled the plug on the party here. So I want to lay out kind of two worst case scenarios, not to start the morning off in a negative manner by any means. Just kind of share two worst case scenarios here for Casper. If um, things start to unfold even further to the downside. Um, so yeah, just want to, uh, share these levels. So thanks for subscribing to the channel. Appreciate it guys. So currently Casper is sitting at a area of potential support. Um, 284, 0284. We found support there yesterday. You can see we wicked down below it, closed above it. Today, we are sitting right on that level. The price is at 284. Our level is at 284. If I go to a three-minute chart, which if you watch these videos, you probably know I do that quite often. Here is support, currently support, 284. Trades below it, trades back above it. Trades below it, trades above it, trades below it. Key is to trade back above it and move higher. Like this is resistance up here at 310. The opposite, we want to see support show up at our lower levels. So if we go back to the daily, get back into what this video is going to be about here. We're going to zoom in here. Keep in mind, we are on the log scale as well. So worst case scenario for Casper if we undercut the lows over in here, which are at our 248 and 246 price supports, and we already found support there once at 248. And the date on that was the 19th of September. We are already in November, but going back to September, we found support there on the 19th of September. So that is a potential area of support, strong support. We're actually currently sitting at an area that is strong support as well. So we'll see if it holds. And the reason why I say that is there's all of this previous price action, traded price right in here. And a lot of that price found support right where we're at, which is at that 284 level. So there is a lot of weight holding on that. And if that does not hold, it could be a cliff dive down to the 248 level where there is also some support. Um, pretty strong support actually over in here. Even though the price went lower, we did ultimately get back above that level. It was only below that level for looks like two days, the 19th and the 18th of June. And then we traded back above retested it over here, like I said, on the 19th of September. So <clears throat> if price fails where it's at now, then 248, 246 is another pretty important area. Where things start to heat up, guys, if you are not yet subscribed to the channel, a lot of viewers are not yet subscribed, go ahead and join us. You'll be notified when we upload videos just like this. Appreciate it. So where things start to heat up and get interesting is if Casper undercuts our 248, 246 level, which is our next lines in the sand. And then if it takes out the low down here at 0224, that's when things start to heat up and we could be heading much, much lower, putting in some new lows for Casper. Now, I'm not saying this is going to happen. Just listing some of the prices I have based on um, previous trading history for Casper here. 
So we have two new levels, pretty important levels. Um, doesn't mean they're going to get hit, but if the price starts to undercut these major lows here and goes back into price discovery um, for new lows, well, then they could come into play. Um, so we have a level down here at 0, 0144. That would put Casper down into the one cent range. And then we also have another one way, way down here at 0, 0112. So those are kind of, those are currently worst case scenarios for Casper as potential areas of support if the price undercuts these two major lows that I just mentioned, the ones over here in September, and then the major one over here, excuse me, in that June sell-off. 0144, 0129 is also a level, and then 0112. Those are all levels that could come into play if Casper continues to trend to the downside. And like I said in yesterday's video, unless something major happens to this project or the company, these assets will not um, skydive forever. They will, like I said, that waterfall move eventually wipes people out and you get a strong V bounce out of here. And I still do believe, like I said yesterday, that we are getting pretty close Lower high, lower low, lower high. We are getting to that almost vertical um, line on the chart. So when the chart starts to get vertical, whether it's to the upside or whether it's to the downside, those moves are not sustainable. And at some point, you get a very, very strong reversal. Unless the project goes under or the company goes under, like what we just saw in the, uh, in the crypto space, some wild stuff there. Um, unless something like that plays out, strong assets that have good projects will um, recover. So I do think we are getting close to a bounce, and maybe that does show up here um, at this 284 level. Like I said, there's a lot of previous support there. But worst case scenario for Casper, based on current um, traded price on the chart, it our history we have for Casper is we got three levels down here, 144, 129, and um, 112, all areas currently that could come into play as, as or if Casper undercuts the June and September major lows. That would put Casper down quite a bit from where we're at. So we have 47... 55 and 60 percent lower than where it's currently at now i'm not saying it's going to happen just wanted to share the based off our history we have for casper those are very important levels below the market if this thing does continue to move lower keeping in mind though i do have much higher levels on the chart too um, when the price does move higher at some point and like I said, if the project doesn't go under, we have much higher targets up here for Casper. So if you are a bull on this project and this company, you are getting a golden opportunity. In my opinion, you are getting very, very cheap on sale Casper um, prices right now. You just in the past, let's see here, what was the date? So basically, in the past month, you have a 50% discount on Casper. So if you're looking to pick up shares, there is a 50% sale market-wide for Casper right now. Not many people look at the market like that. Um, but yeah, just a month ago, you were paying 50% higher prices than you are now. So do what you will with that, not financial advice. Just wanted to share my thoughts on the lower price targets um, for Casper if the price does undercut these major lows and head lower. And even, even if that happens, there is no guarantee saying that we're going to get to those levels. But if we start to trade around those levels, 
the odds of finding support there um, increase a lot. So that's why I put them on the chart. Same goes to the upside. When we found resistance up here at two of our levels, you know, that indicated to me that at least for a period of time, there is resistance right there. So just wanted to share that with you guys. So that's going to wrap it up here for this video. Let me know your thoughts on Casper. Golden opportunity right now if you're bullish on this project. If you are bearish on this project, then I just gave you a bunch of much, much lower, 60% lower price targets. And uh, keep your eye on 284 today for support. If that fails, 248 and 246. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. We'll be back with some more videos. Take it easy.